Okay, so here is another example of finding the equation of a graph. Okay, given the graph, here we have the graph, and uh, the first thing we'll need to do is find our starting point. Now, again, your starting point can be on the center line, or it can be one unit above the center line. If you choose your starting point on the center line, then you are going to uh, create a sine function. If you start one unit above the center line, which I, is what I'm going to do, you are going to call it a cos graph. So we're going to say that this is cos, and uh, since this one has a shift, it's going to be of the form y is equal to a cos px plus, actually minus b, plus c. There we go. This is the format for the, um, the cons graph. And what, what can we say so far? Well, one thing we can see is that my center line is at 0, so c must equal 0. Okay. We can also see that I start above my, my, my starting point is above my center line, so that means that my uh, cos has a positive coefficient, and it's one unit above, which means my amplitude is 1. So y is equal to positive 1 cos px minus b plus 0. Okay, which I don't need to write. Now, the next thing that I need to know is if um, my period has changed at all. Now, hopefully by now you can see that, that if I can just find a quarter of my period from my, from my starting to position from here to where I reach my center line, what is this distance? Okay, that will already be able to help you with um, with your period. So here we can see it's 90 degrees. 90 degrees. So in other words, if I took my period and I divided it with 4, I got 90 degrees. Okay. Now, that means my period is equal to 90 times 4, which is 360 degrees. See how easy was that? Okay, or again, you could have just chosen a point, say from here, that point. Okay, and there I'm at that point again. Okay, so how long did it take me to get from this point to that point? Well, you take this 210 minus minus 150, you're also going to get 360. That's another way of doing it as well. Okay, so my period is 360. Now, how do we calculate our period? Well, our pe period is 360 divided by the coefficient okay, of x. In other words, to find that p, we see, oh, but when we do that, we get 360. So it must mean that p is just equal to 1. My period hasn't changed. So p is simply equal to 1. So the last thing that we see is, oh, we had a horizontal shift. Okay, Instead of starting at that point, we're starting at this point. So if I make x minus b equal to 0, then my answer for x was equal to 30 degrees, okay? Because my starting position is where I take what's inside here and make it equal to 0. Inside here, p is now equal to 1, so all I have inside there is 1 x minus b. So, in other words, if x is equal to 30, then I've got 30 minus B is equal to 0, so B is equal to 30 degrees. And putting all of this together, I find my final answer as Y is equal to A is 1, cos P is equal to 1, X plus 30, X minus 30, I mean X minus 30.